Hello and welcome back to the Tracking Success channel and today we're diving into how to export and import a container into Google Tag Manager. So uh, first of all we're going to export a container. Um, we need to go to the container. Then we go in the top navigation we go to admin. Here you will find export container. Click choose a variation workspace. So uh, in this case, I will uh, just do the whole workspace. And here you can select uh, which uh, things you want to export. If you only want to add a few tags or triggers, um, I, I recommend to use the GTM copy paste tool from Taggers. You can find this right here in the Chrome Web Store. Um, I like this one better than the one from uh, Mesh School because uh, the one from Taggers um, can copy and paste triggers and the other one can't. So we just go back if you want to do that. And we go and click on export and now it exports the container as you can see. And now we are gonna go to uh, the new container where you want to import it. So in this case, this one. Uh, in the top navigation, go to admin, click import container, um, click choose container file, and here you will select your container. Uh, select if you would like to add the imported file to a new or a si existing workspace. Um, if you choose to add a new file to the workspace, um, you just click on new. Um, then you will enter a title and description for your workspace. And if you want to add it to a, an existing workspace, um, click on existing and select the desired workspace. In this uh, case, we will choose for the existing one. And you can also select to overwrite or to merge. And overwrite means this will remove all your existing tags and triggers and will replace them with the imported container. And to merge, uh, you can select uh, one to overwrite, like this. You can select overwriting conflicting tags. Uh, if a variable or tag or trigger in a new container has the same name, but the contents are different, uh, then the old one will overwrite the new one. And add rename conflicting tags or triggers for variables. The new container has the same name, but the contents are different. Um, yeah, rename the new one. If the content are the same, there's no conflict. So in this case, we will choose for overwrite and in the existing workspace, we will choose the default workspace. And here you will confirm. And once you're satisfied with the changes that will be made, um, you're ready to go. And this was the video on how to export and import a GTM container. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one.